I'm Mark Silver. I'm a photographer and author in Carmel, California. I love having you guys with us. Denise Duff has been on all sides of the camera. So she's a professional photographer. This is some of her video work here. She's a professional photographer, an actor, and a director. So she knows every side of being on a camera. And she's developed an easy style of capturing the spirit of her subjects with a very simple but effective lighting approach. Denise, so great to have you with us. Thanks for joining us again. Yeah, it's so super cool to be here. My first question is always this. What is it that really drives you? What's your passion when it comes to photography? Well, uh, yesterday was my birthday. Ooh, and for my, birthday. thank you, for my party, I um, invited women to my photo studio here in Florida. And I photographed them all. And one for one, everyone was like, it, but it's your birthday. Why are you working? And I'm like, you don't understand. This is this is my soul treat. This yeah. is my gift to my spirit to be able to photograph women, especially women over 30, because there there is um, an, an agreement of uh, uh, beauty starts to fade. We start to feel um, we get very self-conscious. And, and I have this special gift of being on that other side and knowing what goes on in one's head and knowing that I can take care of technically all the things with light and with Photoshop. What you can't do with any of those technical things is make a woman feel at ease um, in post-production in Photoshop right. and with light. True. All that all that stuff will not take the, the, the woman's fears out of her mind. And so that's my uh, greatest gift and passion is to have every woman that sits down in front of me feel as beautiful as she feels in her little quiet moments where where she like looks at a little selfie and goes oh i'm not i'm actually kind of pretty because when you put a camera up against a, a woman not so much a phone but you know you, yeah. you put a camera up against them it brings out it brings out every fear and as a photographer that that goes against us and we have to work to to handle that and and that's to me where I feel like my my day rate is justified, is in my superpower to make the woman feel beautiful. I love it. I mean, the business of photography isn't about the cameras, let's face it. It's about you yeah. connecting with your person in front of you. And with a connection, it doesn't matter what camera you're using, you're gonna get a you're gonna get a good photograph. Sometimes someone will show you a picture that's technically crap, right? And they're like, look at this, I, this is one of my favorite pictures of myself. And all I'm thinking of is, oh my gosh, there's all these hot spots, the background's busy. But the person loves their the, their essence. Yeah. So how great when you get both of those, when you mesh both of those, that's when you get your vanity fair covers. Right. You know, that's when you get your you know, your National Geographic portraits that live on forever, when you can meld that, that, that comfortable spirit of your subject with all the technical stuff. Right on. Is it okay if we just dive in? I've got some, I've got your first photo here on the screen. Yes. Tell, okay. Tell us about what the lighting is and, and what's going on with this shoot. Sure. So this is um, uh, natural light. She is in front of um, a doorway, so she's sitting in a doorway. So the light that's coming on her is um, is natural light. And to well, the left of the camera, um, there was just a, a a a little light on a stand. It was just a, a light, just a still light, not a strobe light, just a little still light that because her hair is so thick, right. I wanted to just fill it a little bit. Normally you wouldn't need to. Like if you just cover the frame with your hand, if you cover that part of her hair, um, it would still be okay, but it just gave a little something. And it, and it gave a little bit of kick to her body and her waist. Um, behind her is uh, her daughter holding the, um, the round... Uh, scrim the round like white reflector oh, okay so you so not only um the, the model herself is holding her own um piece of foam core that's oh, the piece yeah. of foam core so she's holding her own and that's what that's doing is it's kicking some light up you could see the reflector there let's see hold on there you could see you could see the rounded reflector oh, yeah right 
this was just a, this actually the color correction on this is a little different um, but there you can just see the uh, the reflector right um, and so I retouched out that reflector so right. it's the you same it. lighting setup yep I just cropped up above mm -hmm. but what that's doing and you know she is an older woman and so to have that beautiful light coming from above um, while she's being shaded from the top and that's what's the beauty of being in a doorway is you don't have that downward light coming down because what happens is the eyebrow creates this ridge and you get a dark shadow under the eye but I, I have to say that as a photographer being in front of the camera and behind the camera the added bonus of of, of this and what it shows up yeah. has um, really made me take care of my skin because I see it up close. I've had the, the fortune of seeing women's aging skin up close and I love skin and I don't love to cover it up with makeup for any of my women. Really? And I started, I started 20 years ago telling my clients when they need a portrait, my actors and my um, people that are coming to just pay for a portrait. If I'm being hired to by a company to do something, I hire a makeup artist. If it's a musician, we may, and they want a lot done. But if it's just someone that's paying me to do a business portrait of them, um, I say, do your own makeup. I want to see what you look like when you go to a meeting. And then I'm going to just fix it up. I'll put, I'll just make sure that there's no dark circles. Um, I'll make sure that, that you can see your eyebrows because eyebrows are very important. Yeah. And, um, and I just enhance what they have. But sometimes if I hire a makeup artist that does too much, it's tough to undo that. Yeah, I bet. Well, her, right. she has a very, well, obviously it's a very natural look because you haven't done anything other than no, just. No, this is not, not retouched. Um, you know, in her case, what I do love as a photographer is I love when women have lots of lashes on. Mm. You know, just good yeah. mascara. Um, whether they're false or, or mascara, because eyelashes are something you're born with. It's not like a bunch of eyeshadow. It's not like red lips. Um, it's just lashes, and, and, it, and it brings your attention into the eye without a bunch of color or closing it up. Right. So, you know, note to anybody, if you, put, if you have a, a client put some good mascara on or she has her lashes done, you're 60% you're of the way there with her liking her picture. And I wanted you to see this picture too yeah. because I took the reflector and turned it around. I just want so, to underscore something here too, you guys. Please. So everything you've mentioned so far is sim the most simple stuff. You have your yes. own, okay, so you have the foam core, the models holding it. You have somebody standing beside you, behind her, with the reflector. I mean, these are easy to yeah. do things. And then you're not yeah. asking, you're not advising any kind of heavy makeup. In fact, keep it really simple. So this is like yeah. easy to replicate for anybody watching this. I love it. That's right. That's right. And and it's important the 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 shaded quality of the light. I mean, if I were to just take my laptop, can I show you yeah. the area? We're going mobile. Like now now I'm in the sun. Right. Okay. Now I open up this door and I have them in the door here. Oh, I see. So there, there's, there's, I have the sun coming in from this glass window. Yeah. You know, there's this oh, glass yeah. window. And, and they're right here. So you're just using stuff that we all have. That's right. That's really and cool. And then my, my background. So I have them oh, yeah. put, put this behind them and you have and somebody just this, holding it you don't even need a c stand yep, or, or, or that's right or i i sit them on the floor and i and i put a piece of furniture behind them oh wow okay easy right so you have and these things you can get super cheap yep. they, they come either in black white silver personally for women um white bounce cards is the softest um this these are the softest reflectors the foam cards to, to, the foam card yeah. is good for for light on your face. And you just did something. Hold it back. You had it. You just sort of tucked it under your chin there, so that's going to reflect back and immediately right. changes the light on your face. And and I even tell the model too, who's holding it, 
and I'll say, just move that around <laughs> because you don't always have somebody with you. Uh, you know, right. 99% of my portraits, it's just me and my model. And the other thing is I'll, I'll be um, holding, wait, I move that way. I'll be holding it while I'm doing this. Oh yeah. You know, so you just boom, boom, boom. And another point and, about that is the more people you have, you, you're talking about people getting nervous behind the camera and the more people on right. a set, the more nervous, uh, not a pro, obviously they're used to it, but the average right. person starts to really get nervous because they're trying to perform instead of just they're be themselves. To totally. Yeah. Totally. And, and if you have to have someone like last night at my party, I had a lot of people here and, and, um, varying degrees of professionals and, and artists, and many of them got very intimidated. And so I made the girls actually come by my side and make the girls laugh uh, and like bring them into it. And, and, and some of the best pictures were the girls looking away, laughing at the friends, you know, like if that energy has got to be there, you know, then, then harness it, you know, find out like if the husband is standing there and you're shooting the wife, Ask the husband, what's her favorite food? Yeah. He'll go, oh, pizza. She'll be like, aha, uh -huh, or, you know, sushi. Or use that person as opposed to fighting with the fact that you know the subject is uncomfortable if you can't tell them to go away. That's smart. Thank you and happy birthday once again. Thank you. Thank you, you so look much. Marvelous. This is awesome. <laughs> we Thanks, will be guys. talking we'll again talk. very, very soon. Share it, like it, subscribe. Definitely go to AYP Club. Jared will put the link in there. If you're not already a member, definitely join so that we can carry on the conversation with you guys. I love bringing you this content. And I want to remind you to remember to get out. Say this with me. Remember to get out and capture your own images of life.